You've probably seen a video like this, right? A leaf blower, a roll of toilet paper, and suddenly it's just floating. It totally looks like magic. But I promise you, it's not. It's just a really, really cool physics principle at play. So what is actually going on here? How does this work? Believe it or not, the secret behind that flying paper is the very same secret that explains how a baseball curves, and get this, how a giant airplane flies. It all comes down to one single, kind of beautiful idea. Bernoulli's principle. So let's unlock it. So what is this big secret? Well, you'll be surprised at how simple it is. It really just boils down to a basic trade-off happening in the air all around us, all the time. Okay, here's the core idea. Think of it like this. When air is just kind of chilling, moving slowly, it's pushing with high pressure. But the moment that air speeds up, its pressure drops. So fast air means low pressure. Fast air means high pressure. That's the trade-off. Simple as that. And here's why that matters. Nature just loves to balance things out. So stuff will always try to move from an area of high pressure toward an area of low pressure. That means the toilet paper wasn't being pulled up by the fast air. Nope. War -war. It was being pushed up by the slow-moving high-pressure air that was sitting right underneath it. This same exact rule applies here with these soya cans. See, when you blow a stream of fast air right between them, you create a little channel of low pressure. And what happens? The higher pressure on the outside of the cans literally pushes them together. They're not being sucked in. They're being pushed. Alright. So we've seen this with some fun little demos. But this is where things get really incredible. Let's see how this simple idea scales up to literally change the world. You can try this one yourself. Just tape a strip of paper, hold it to your chin, and blow over the top. The fast-moving air you create, the lower pressure, and the still high-pressure air underneath pushes the paper up. It's a classic little party trick. But now, think about something a little bigger, like a modern passenger jet, an Airbus A308. We're talking about 400 tons. Just let that number sink in. And here's the amazing part. That same little principle that lifts that flimsy piece of paper, it's the exact same force that generates enough power to lift 400 tons of metal, fuel, luggage, and people right off the runway. It works in exactly the same way. An airplane wing is designed with that specific curve on top to force the air to travel faster over. Faster air means lower pressure above the wing. And the slower, higher pressure air below it, well, it does what high pressure does best. It pushes up. And that massive upward push is what we call lift. Now, we might hear some people say, wait, isn't it about Newton's third law, pushing air down to go up? And you know what? They're right too. This isn't an either-or situation. Bernoulli's principle and Newton's laws are really just two different ways of describing the same credible phenomena. They are two sides of the same coin. So from a little strip of paper to a colossal jetliner, it all comes back to this invisible dance between speed and pressure. Now that you're in on the secret, take a look around. Where else can you spot this powerful force working its magic in the world? Thank you. Subscribe for more.